Monday. I'm Ellie Ray. Welcome to the closet. Okay, so today I'm really excited. I'm working with a new toy. Um, I have the Amanda Murphy Good Measure Cross Hatching Ruler. It's awesome. Awesome for a few reasons. Um, one, it's got all these really cool measurements, angles for you. And, you know, looking at this, I didn't know how to use these. I've never known how to use these kind of things. So I'm just going to tell you really quick for those of us that don't know. Um, it's super, super easy. Okay, let's go down to the quilt. Okay, you're on your quilt and you want to cross hatch. You can see I've cross hatched 45 degrees here. Okay, how did I do that? So I used the 45 degree angle. Um, let's see. Yeah, this one. So they they have two sets. Okay, there's 90 degrees. And then it goes 60, 45, 30, 22 and a half, 15. And then the same going this direction. Why? So you can go this way and then the other way. So watch. I put that 45 degree. Okay, 45 degrees here. Right? Up against the edge of the quilt. That 45 degree line is up against my quilt. So I can cross hatch this direction. Now I want to go the other direction. So I go to this 45 degree angle on this side. Okay. I put that on there and voila. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right. Voila. There it is. That's the 45 degree angle. Okay. So let's just say I want to do the 45 degree angle here. Okay, I'm here. I want to do the 45 degree angle here. So I'm going to go like right here. There. It's up against my edge here. And I want to go this direction. So what do I do? There. Well, that wasn't hard at all, was it? No, it wasn't. Why? Because this has tacky all on the other side. It's kind of like frosted glass and it holds really well. It's kind of like really mild, mild sandpaper. It's not sandpaper, but it's, it's, uh, it's like a frosting. I don't know. It's very nice. Anyway, so that's one thing. It doesn't move. I like that a lot. You don't have to put those little rubber things on it. No, none of that comes with. Okay, so it's got all the markings that you need. It's 12 inches long, which um, may or may not be a good thing. Now, some of us have domestic machines and we have a limited vertical space. For instance, my PQ1500S only had five inch vertical. So that would have been a problem. Now with the cutie, you can extend, there we go. You can extend this cutie frame right here. You can pull it out much further. So you have space, um, not necessarily being able to quilt that far, but you can use the, the, the ruler. The ruler will fit. Um, I would love it if she would make a mini, uh, good measure for people with domestic machines. It makes it easier, but if you're going to sit down, you don't, doesn't matter. This will work. Um, but on the cutie frame, yeah, you really need a smaller ruler. Okay. So I think this is worth showing you up close. Say you're working on a, uh, fabric that has lines, vertical lines. It's super easy to use this to uh, verify that you're actually going on a 45 degree angle. So you're going along, you've done your, your uh, line and you wanna do another one. So you move it down a specific amount and you've marked it or you've, you've marked where you wanna end up and you wanna see if you're at 45 degrees. Well, all you have to do is line this 45 degree angle to your line on your fabric. And you'll know that you're at 45 degree angles. 
See that? 45 degree angles lined up with this ticking line. My ticking fabric has, has these lines. Now, if you don't have those lines, that's okay too. You can still verify. Um, let's say I'm here and I want to verify. Your seam lines, you can use your seam lines. See if it's parallel with a seam line or perpendicular with a seam line, um, meaning like a T that's perpendicular. Um, you can use things on your quilt to, to tell you um, where you're at. But this is really, really cool. The fact that they have it going both directions is really, really helpful. Um, this is a great ruler. It is the Amanda Murphy Good Measure. Forty-five. Now I can see um, my forty-five degree. That is ticking. I'm using kind of ticking material, so that's forty-five degree lines up right alongside that. So I know I'm still at a forty-five degree angle. Okay, so I just pick and choose how far I want to go, um, which is nice. Okay, my 45 degree angle, okay. My 45 degree angles straight. using it um how about here As you can see, cross hatching can be super easy with the right tools. And Amanda Murphy certainly did make a great tool for cross hatching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a thumbs up and a comment and let me know uh, that you did like it and what you liked about it. And if you'd like to see something else, I hope you'll take the time to look at all my videos and see things that you might, it might help you in your quilting adventure on the cutie frame. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by the closet.